Uh, okay. Uh, countering my opponent, uh, Amanda, on the claim about uh, NASA should halt all manned space exploration and travel for the foreseeable future. Uh, she hit on uh, it's way more expensive and uh, robots are more uh, efficient. Uh, well, going on to about that, um, going back to um, Apollo missions more than 40 years ago now, the, the question of cost to separate an examination of below, space exploration has a number of advantages over robotic operations on planetary surfaces. This is uh, from Ian Crawford from the article, Humans Are More Productive Than Robots for Space Exploration, uh, from uh, Robotic Technology, and edited by Luis Gutierrez in 2014. Um, human space exploration has a number of advantages over robotic operations on planetary surfaces. These were endorsed by the Independent Commission on the Scientific Case for Human Space Exploration, commissioned by RAS, which is the Royal Astronomical Society, in 2005. These advantages can be summarized as follows. Uh, humans can do on-the-spot decision-making and flexibility compared to where robots can't. They are, have a set program, and the program has to be functioned by a human back here on Earth to be able to change it. Um, we have a greatly enhanced mobility and intended opportunities for geological exploration and instrument deployment uh, compared the 35.7 kilometers traversed in three days by Apollo uh, 17 astronauts in December 1972, with the almost identical distance, 34.4, traversed by the Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity in eight years. <coughs> uh, greatly increased efficiency in sample collection and sample return capacity. If you sit there and think, when we send rovers and robots up into space, we do intend to bring them back. They're going to stay there. So everything that they collect, they're going to have to have it programmed into them to run the scientific value from it and then send that data back to us compared to where humans, we want to bring them home, we get to bring the samples home like they did when they went up to the moon and they brought back all those core samples and, uh, and rocks and everything that we got that gave us the opportunity to study that for the since Apollo returned more than uh, 40 years ago. Uh, increased potential for large-scale exploratory activities, uh, drilling and the deployment and maintenance of complex equipment, and the development of space-based infrastructure to support space-based astronomy and other scientific applications in the construction and maintenance of large space telescopes, as uh, everyone's heard of the Hubble one, I presume, and we just updated that as well. Um, more into it, uh, the relative uh, efficiency of human over robotic exploration for our planetary surfaces is well recognized by scientists directly involved with the latter, and that goes back to uh, the RAS report. Uh, this is from Ian Crawford in, again. Uh, the expert evidence we have heard strongly suggests that the use of autonomous robots alone would very significantly limit what we can uh, learn about our nearest potentially habitable planet. Uh, Amanda commented about uh, the International Space Station and how it's, it's expensive, it's a waste of money. Uh, a bunch of scientists said that we don't need to do it, robots can do it, and the way that we do the experiments, and they, they bump around and everything. But um, the International Space Station serves as a technical integration model and lessons learned for large-scale international integra integration efforts. It also serves as a model for managing international partner relationships, which has proven to be a major part of the ISS success story. Uh, this is from John Cook, Mars and the Moon, not an either or proposition from Space News in uh, August of 2018. Uh, if you look at the International Space Station, it is a collaboration between Earth partners, different countries, where at all times you have numerous different countries that have somebody up in the space station doing uh, the work of it. Um, another one from uh, NASA, benefits stemming from NASA, or benefits stemming from space exploration. Um, the success has been impressive and space systems continue to drive innovation, support world-class science, provide vital services and are part of the daily life of common citizens. Um, Service-driven space systems are the overwhelming part of space activity today. Furthermore, the legacy of these historical efforts to develop sophisticated and useful capabilities and partnerships is evident in today's exploration programs, such as the International Space Station, which we was talking about. 
uh, from the same NASA benefits from stemming from space exploration. The ISS supports investigations in life and physical sciences as well as advancing research and technology to solve problems. Right? Um, our future space exploration goals call for sending humans and robots beyond low Earth orbit, which is sending them back to the moon, sending them to Mars, and sending them further you know, in, in the future. If we got rid of the International Space Station, that would stop uh, a lot of the effects that the humans have on it. As she was talking about, humans are susceptible to space radiation. They are susceptible to gravity. They are susceptible to isolation. But the International Space Station has been the focal point of learning all those different types of distresses that could be on humans and bringing that into it. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, again from NASA, um, scientific research founded on data from space is also leading discoveries with benefits of, for life on Earth. Ongoing research in uh, the ISS and in space, in areas such as human physiology, plant biology, uh, material science, and fundamental physics, continue to yield insights that benefit society. So, going through all these uh, things just from the ISS and from sending humans into space, we have seen that humans have the, the drive and the desire. And if we get rid of that drive and desire, we're going to lose STEM uh, subjects. We're going to lose astronauts. We're going to lose the field of where people who want to be scientists, who want to be in technology, who want to be engineers, who want to be mathematicians, that drive may, may taper off and we may become, for lack of better words, less smart in America while the countries still go forward. Thank you.